intermittent fasting refers to eating plans that alternate between fasting and eating periods. The goal is to systematically. Oops. All right, today we are talking about what's up. Quick intro. We are talking about should we get vaccinated? Should we? That is the million dollar question. Should you or shouldn't you get vaccinated? And well, I'm going to give my opinion on it. And of course, you know, we decide to do what we want to do. And to be totally honest with y'all guys, I was against it. At one time I was against it. And I remember watching TikTok and a celebrity was on there and he was really, really sick. And he mentioned, man, we, we should all get vaccinated, you know. And he mentions that he wasn't for it. And he wished that, you know, he would have done it. So what I'm getting at is not too long ago, I got vaccinated. And I'm actually this week, I got my second one coming. Hopefully I'll be good. I don't know how the second one is going to be, but the first one. I was good. Now, in my opinion, I think if you're diabetic, if you have high blood pressure, if you have any health problem wrong with you, I think you should get it. I really think you should get it. It's been proven that 95 percent, it prevents 95 percent of the COVID or what's coming. You know, I, I never gotten sick. Um not not that I know of. I did get uh, I went to a place uh, when my mom got sick and uh, my sister and stuff and I was negative. But there was this one time where I remember I did lose taste, but I don't know if it was because I had a cold or, or what. But it was like a while back. But for the most part, I didn't get sick. My immune system is pretty up. My immune system is pretty up high, you know, because I take care of myself all the time. Now, what I ask you all to do is to take care of your health man take care of your health especially now you know i had a lot of friends pass away during the covid um you know my wife's my wife, my wife say it's not my wife always says it's not the covid it's just covid but i call it the covid right well um i had some friends pass away and stuff and, and it is a sad matter and it was because they you know they had diabetes high blood pressure so what it is it's an immune virus and it's hitting your immune system. So it's good if you build your immune system. If you build your immune system, I think it will be okay. But back to me taking the vaccine. So I took the vaccine. It didn't hurt at all. Like at all, at all. I'm scared of needles. I mean, even though I got tattoos all over me, I'm scared of needles. I just always been. And, you know, it, was not, it didn't feel like a pinch. It didn't, it didn't hurt at all, you know. The next day, my symptoms were, it was just, sore not so much sore it was just hurting you know just like like if I lift a lot you know it was just hurting a little bit but that only lasts for probably like 18 20 hours whatever it was so the next day I was good excuse me now my wife my wife got the chills and she got some other things uh, I think the chills and she was cold and it was just really like the chills and she had like I don't think I don't think she had a fever because we checked it for a fever, but she was just feeling a little sick, you know. But then with her too, it was a few a couple of hours. I don't know how many hours with her, and then she was okay. Now, honestly, think that you should do your re your own research, and be able to draw your own conclusion. Come to come to us what you want to do. Now I know there's a lot of people that think that this is. This is the government or whatever they say, or they say that this is not godly or we shouldn't do this. Or this is against Christians. I am a Christian, so I, I don't feel that. I don't. I mean, I, I in the end, I know who my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. Right. So. It, I had the way it was with me is I remember. I was I was not for it. I was ignoring it. I was not for it. Right. I said, man, my immune system is good. I don't need it. I'm good. My wife's a school teacher. She's a first grade school teacher. And I knew she wanted to get it done, you know, to, to protect 
other people's children and, you know, from what she's doing. She wants, you know, she wants to be able to protect herself. So when I seen that that night, it was not so much of that. You know, I was seeing that what it was. It was God telling me, you know what? You got to go do this. You have to go do this. You got to set the example. So I told my wife the next day, I said, babe, I said, um, do you think we should get that shot? And she goes, what shot? And then I said, you know what shot I'm talking about? And she goes, yeah, I think we should. I think we should. So then I said, okay, babe, you know what? I'm going to get it. She goes, for real? I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. And then she set me up that day at 12 o'clock noon. So I was talking to her like about 9.30, 9.45. And then guess what? We had an appointment at 12 o'clock. So I think it's something that we should get. I think it's something we should get, but you should have that bond, like get that feel. So, cause I, I, I feel that God changed my mind, you know, and everything I'm seeing. And, and then I looked at the science of it. And then I, and I know you, you say, well, you know what? It hasn't been around that long. So we don't know what they're sticking us with and everything. But there's been a lot of things that haven't been that long, you know, that around that long. And we've been OK. You know, we've been OK. In the end, if you take the vaccine. And something happens to you. You're saved, you know, and if you're not saved, you need to get saved, you know. So it's one of them deals. I don't see why you shouldn't take it. I really don't. And again, I'm saying that I'm not saying to take it. I'm just saying I don't see why you shouldn't take it. You know, these are opinion of my opinions. And I'm not on here to offend anybody, to talk about somebody, their beliefs, to talk about what they don't want to do, what they should do. I'm not here for that. I really I'm really not. You know, I'm not here to judge you. That's one thing I would never do. I'm just here to do a show on should we get vaccinated? I think we should. But I think that you should only, if you feel you should, you know, you got to be in charge of your own feelings. You got to be in charge of your own family. You know, there's my family. Some of my family's against it. You know, I just found out yes night, you know, but we can be against it. Not everybody's going to choose to get vaccinated, you know, and I'm not here to force it on you. I'm just here to give you my opinion. And should we get vaccinated? I think we should. I think we should. But you should also get vaccinated if you have, if you feel that, if that's what you need to do. If you feel it, you got to feel it. You see, it's hard for me to, to explain to you how I felt it. But I felt it because I was, I was you could say I was against it. You know, and I didn't know what I was against. I just knew I was against it. And I guess it was just something. I mean, I've been out of the hospital for four years. I changed my life. My immune system's up. I look great. I feel great. So I didn't feel I had to do it. But when I started doing my research and seeing everything and, you know, seeing the percentage of people. And, yeah, has there been people that passed away with the shot? Maybe two or three, you know, but there's no proof on that. There's no proof that people that have had had that shot. There's proof. There's not even no proof on people that have passed lately that had this shot that passed from it. But there is more proof about it helping you than not helping you. I mean, go look. You can go look for yourself. Like I said, you have to want to do it. It's not something that somebody's going to judge you on. It's not. Now, it might get to the point where we're going to be forced to do it. I hope it don't. But it might get to the point where we're going to be forced to do it. You know, I, I think there's some states that are doing that already. But it's all up to you, man. Shout out to uh, uh, Key. What's up, bro? Appreciate you being on here. Uh, shout out to Jose. And shout out to Ant- 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 Antastic. Shout out. I'm probably saying it right. And shout out to Joel. Appreciate y'all being on here. You know, we see life for what we see it for. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, if you have diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, if you have anxiety, depression, whatever you might have, I say get it. Because this 
can save your life. I mean, it can. It can. But again, get that bond. Get that bond with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then tell him, talk to him. Tell him, you know what, man, I, I'm not. I think I should get it, but then I don't know if I should get it. I, I don't know. People are saying everything. People are saying, when you get the shot, it's the number of this and this and that, but it's not. It's not. You know, and if it is, you show me where it is. It's at, you know. So regardless of what religion is or whatever, if you asked me personally, should you get the vaccine? I would say yes, but I would say only get it if you feel feel God's pointing you that way if you feel that one day you wake up like I did and you'd be like man I want to get this done you know I want to get this done now I always been spontaneous on things that I do so that was probably why I told my wife hey let's go get it done let's go do it but I ain't think she's going to set it up that day she set it up that day you know this is really important to talk about because you know Putting everything to the side, I've had a lot of friends pass away from this COVID. A lot of friends, you know, relatives, you know. So it's been sad. It's been really sad. And, and it coming around again, it, it's it's very sad, you know. It, it really is. So at this time, we do not know, you know, what steps to take or what moves to make or what we're gonna what we're gonna do. But I felt that. Getting vaccinated was something that I had to do for my family, for my kids. You know, I felt I had to do it. And so I did it. Now, I only got vaccinated once. I'm waiting for my second dose. Again, this weekend, I'll be getting my second dose. And hopefully my arm will be okay because I got a DJ. You know, I'm always DJing on the weekends. So hopefully I'll be okay. But if you have any questions, man, let me know if you have any questions. And again, uh, if you're new to my show, my show is about the keto lifestyle. It's about health. And this is about health right now. This is really about health. You know, don't let nobody, don't let no one else make your decision for you. You have to feel your decision. Now, I know we're around a lot of people that say, oh, you know what? I ain't no test dummy. They're testing this right now. I ain't this and I'm not going to do this and I ain't going to be a sheep and I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. But you have to do what you feel if you feel that you don't need the vaccine and you don't want to get the vaccine and you're so healthy and everything hey more power to you you know and and do that but if you feel that you want to get it done and do with your family and everything like that then do it again i'm not here to tell you my show's not about telling you go get it done i'm not going to tell you go get it done i'm not going to do that Because you have rights. You know, we still have our rights. That's the beautiful thing about our country. We still have our rights. So what I want to do this show for were were for the people that maybe wanted my opinion. Matter of fact, I had somebody not too long ago. I told them that I got the vaccine. They go like, for real? You got the vaccine for real? So I said, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do a show. And And I was not ready to do this show yet, but I said, I'm going to do this show today about the vaccine. I'm going to do it today because I ain't going to put it away no longer. I'm going to do it today. And that's what I'm doing. So if you ask me, if you're asking me, I think you should, especially, especially if you have health problems. Because this right here can save your life. You know, Friends of mine that were diabetes, that had diabetics, they passed away. Friends of mine that had high blood pressure, they passed away, you know. And the numbers are growing. The numbers are are, are big. I mean, right now in Florida, oh, my God, they're, like, rising every day, like, high, you know. And things are happening and we're not ready to go back to I'm not ready to go back to closing down and all this stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not. But one thing that is more stronger than anything ever is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
And if you haven't got saved, if you haven't got saved, if you have not accepted your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, then that's the very first thing you need to do. Not get vaccinated. You need to accept your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the very, very first thing you need to do. And it's easy. You know, just accept him. Come into my heart, Lord. Come into my heart. You know, I want to make you my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's that easy. You know. But um, so, yeah, guys, man. Um, you need to have that feeling for it. Stop listening to everybody else. Stop listening to all the people. Stop listening to all people are going to make draw all the conclusions they want to all the bad conclusions and they're going to get everything bad so they won't get it done. But you have to do your own research. You have to do what's for you and your family. Now, I might get to the point where it will get mandatory. Might. Who knows? I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. But. For the most part, you're going to be OK. You'll be OK if you get vaccinated. Everybody I hear all these stories talk about, oh, man, y- y- what if you get side effects? What if this they're trying to kill you? They're trying to do this. They're trying to do that and this and that and this. And like, man, you know what? There are, sugar kills you. Sugar. The addiction of sugar kills you more than this vaccinated, you know, this vaccine they got. Sugar, you you worried about people just in general, people are worried about the vaccine shot, but they're not worried about having type two diabetes. They're not worried about having high blood pressure. They're not worried about taking in all this evil sugar that's hurting them. Guess where you're going to die from sugar. See, so. Guys. It's really important. For you to sit down with your family or your loved ones and decide to do what you feel that's right for your family. You know, I know there's I know there's some people out there that are saying you you need to get vaccinated. You better get vaccinated. You're the reason why this that this. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't come on here to, to do that. Again, I come on here to tell you my opinion. And to tell you that I got vaccinated right here. Yeah, (laughs) because it looks right right here on my left arm. I got vaccinated. You know. And I'm okay. I'm 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 good. I'm good, you know. So. Think about it, pray about it, think about it, pray about it. And then do what you feel after you pray about it, after you think about it, if you feel it's something you still don't want to do, then don't do it. But at least do that. Think about it and pray about it. And so um, I hope this helped. I hope this helped y'all. Um, I really try to come on here to help people, you know. Hold on give me a second. And hold on. Shout out to TikTok, man. I am banded right now. <laughs> I got banned. Um, I don't know how long I'll be banned. Hopefully for a couple of more days. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I got banned, but I got banned. Um, probably just some people that are hating. I don't know. But they banned me. So if you haven't seen the content, I got a lot of content. I've been all it does is it's been Saving the videos and saving the videos so when I get unbanned, I can send them all off. Right now, it's, it's going to uh, a folder. But uh, sh- shout out to y'all, man. Let me see. Let's see down here. Um, you see? Yeah. And and see, some people say that. Nah, I'm good. I'm a pass. And, and, and you got the right to say that. But like I say, just think about it and pray about it. And you'll get that. You'll get that feeling. You're like, you know what? I, I need to get it done. Now, think about everyone that's already got it, gotten it done. Everybody from celebrities, from doctors, from lawyers, from everyone that's gotten it done. They're OK. They've been OK. You know, I mean, 
again, I, I did my research. I, I seen everything. I seen the numbers. I said, you know, they're okay. So, in the end, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. But if you ask me, should you? Again, you should, but only if you got that feeling that you should. Because God's going to give you that feeling. God's going to tell you, man, you know what? You should go do this. You should do this. You know, and then go do it. I will say, do not, do not take the Johnson & Johnson because they've had some errors. But the other two are fine. I think one's Visor and the one we took was Minerva. Minerva. I, can't, I ain't even going to lie to y'all, but we took one, something like that, but... Um, we're good. We're good. I'm actually glad I took it. I really, I really am glad I took it. You know, so I hope this show helped y'all. We're at 21 minutes. And now I want to talk to y'all about the keto lifestyle, man. The keto lifestyle. If you haven't started doing the keto lifestyle, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You know, not too long ago, Kanye West jumped aboard the keto lifestyle. You know, I think that's awesome. Matter of fact, if for somehow Kanye is looking at me, Kanye, I am an awesome coach. I'm an awesome keto coach. You know, but people are doing the keto lifestyle because it works. It works now. It's going to work 50 years from now. It's going to keep on working. People say, man, it's not sustainable. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've been doing it for four years. It's an amazing lifestyle. There's nothing else. I can't think of no other word but amazing because that's the kind of lifestyle it is. It's an amazing lifestyle, you know, and I'm going to continue doing it. I'm going to do keto till I'm not here in this world no more, you know, because I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to be keep on doing it because it's an amazing lifestyle. I don't even get slight headaches when you don't even get slight headaches, man. When I used to wake up every day four years ago with terrible headaches, you know, I had high blood pressure, take them little bitty pills. You know, I had asthma problems. I had problems when I would go to sleep. I would choke like I would like feel like I was choking and stuff like that. And I no longer have those problems. You see, I was a big guy at one time. I was a real big guy. Look, and this one right here. Four years ago. And my wife, my wife also dropped a lot of weight. She dropped a lot of weight also. But um, guys, if you need any of my help, give me a call. 832-715-2557. I have some amazing, amazing tea out there from trishnatea.com. Uh, use hashtag unstoppable and get Barry Keto. Barry Keto. If you need information, call me 832-715-2557. I also have an awesome bakery, sugaristhedevil.net. Sugaristhedevil.net. I got to post it up over here. And I got my amazing cookbook, The Truth Keto is Life. That cookbook is amazing. It's right here. It's still number one seller at Amazon right now. The truth, Keto is Life. I had to buy somebody that I'm going to be coaching, and he says, man, he's reading my book. He says, man, your book is like a keto Bible. That's what he said. Your book is like a keto Bible. Now, I don't know why he, if he said that because I have, like, uh, uh, prayers and stuff like that. I got stuff in there talking about God and everything. Or he said that because... It looks like keto Bible. It look, it's, it's an amazing book, all in color and everything. So um, I appreciate everybody picking it up, man. Thank y'all so much. And, um, you know, I really appreciate y'all. Um, sh- uh, shout, out, shout out to Kelly. Thank you for watching, Kelly. Um, my, my condolences. I really am sorry. Um, thank you, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much, man. Everybody have a safe night, blessed night. And I'm about to jump off. And we're, we're doing 25 minutes today. Guys, again, 
should we get vaccinated? In my opinion, I think we should. But only if you get that feeling that you should. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all. Have a great night. To the next video. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life. Tea.